Hey guys, what's up? It's me, it's Shalise. I'm back. Hello, hi, how you doing? Um, today, or I should, let me let me give you a quick rundown. So I got my wisdom teeth out. That was a very interesting experience, and I'm still like having a little bit of pain. I'm still taking Advil, and I can't say certain things the right way because it just feels really weird to say. I also spit sometimes, not meaningfully, but like it's just, just like. If you get your wisdom teeth out before, you know what I mean, and it sucks. Um, it just is what it is. And, yeah, that's the reason I haven't been making videos lately. I was going to pre-record some videos before I went into surgery and got my wisdom teeth out because I knew it would be in pain, I knew it would be swollen, and I knew I wouldn't feel like recording. Um, but I had to do a lot of things before I had to take tests. You guys know I'm a college student. It's a struggle sometimes, but I just finished my midterms and it's officially spring break. Eh. Um, but not really because I have two more classes tomorrow, but I have finished all my work before spring break, taken on my midterms, taken on my quizzes, and I'm so ready for spring break. I will have some travel vlogs coming to you soon and also scuba diving experience, video, reel, whatever. Um, anyway. Today I'm going to be doing the Mixed Girls tag. If you didn't know, your girl is a mixed girl. <laughs> and I know some people are like, what? Gay? What do you mean? Um, but we'll talk about that in the video. I was inspired to do this video by Naja from Booty Child. And I love her videos. I've been subscribed to her for a while now. Um, so I'll have her... <coughs> okay. So I'll have her stuff linked down below, like her channel and her video, like her tag. She is amazing, and she lives close to some of my family in Florida, so hopefully I will get to meet her one day. I feel like she's so cool and so real and so chill, and I would love to talk to her in real life sometime and just be like friends. Um, but anyway, we're going to get into this tag. I have the questions pulled up, the mixed girl tag, and I thought this would be fun to do so you guys could get to know me a little bit better. I'm going to stop talking and go ahead and jump into the video. So the first question is, what are you mixed with? I am half black, half Puerto Rican, but I have a little bit of white in me. My mom is black and she has black, um, she has black, she has white on her side from either my great, great grandma or my great, great, great grandma. I don't remember which it is. I know the great, great grandma is mixed with white, I think. And my great 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 grandma is white. I, I honestly have no idea. My family is huge. My mom is number nine out of twelve kids, you guys. That's a lot, okay? My family's huge. Um, and then my dad is just Puerto Rican. <laughs> His family is as Puerto Rican as it gets. So yeah. That's what I am. Um, that's what I mix with. The next question is what ethnicity have you often been mistaken for? Obviously. I've talked about this before. I get mistaken as white or Caucasian literally all the time. It still happens all the time. When I tell people I'm half black, they're like, are you sure? <laughs> they're like, are you switched at birth? Are you adopted? Like, is there something your parents aren't telling you? Guys, I'm 20 years old. I'm almost 21. So if they haven't told me yet, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of effed up, but you know, um, but I've also been mistaken a lot as Mexican, and I think a lot of people associate Spanish with Mexican, and I, I don't know why that is, but that definitely happened a lot in high school. People would call me Mexican literally all the time, and if you know, Puerto Ricans don't like to be called Mexican, okay? But I mean, whatever. Um, I've been mistaken for Dominican, um, Brazilian. I got Egyptian once. I don't, I don't think I look Egyptian, but I mean, hey. And I think that's pretty much it. But the two main ones that I get mistaken for really commonly is Caucasian and Mexican. The third question is your hair curly or straight? As you guys can see, I don't really know what it is. In the summer, it's really curly because I'm in the ocean a lot. And that just kind of makes my hair curl. Um, but in the winter months, the colder months fall, it kind of just turns into this curl straight. It's, I'll just say wavy for now, okay? We wavy, all right? Cool. The fourth question is, was coming from different backgrounds challenging growing up? Um, 
I would say yes because I talked about this as well in my Hawaka swimwear application video. Um, I'm really different from a lot of my family. Me and my siblings all look completely different. So hearing, are you sure you guys have the same dad? Yes, we're positive we have the same dad. My parents have been married for 28 years, I think, 27 or 28 years. They love each other so much, so, so, so much. Um, so yes, we have the same dad. Um, so hearing that, are you adopted? Um, is your mom your nanny? Like people, when I was younger, people would mistake my mom as my nanny and that sucks like for her too because like if I had a child and someone asked that, I would be heartbroken. Like why, why would you even say that to someone? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. But I was born with blonde hair and blue eyes and like I said, my mom is black African American so it sucks um also like in my family I was called white girl a lot or snowflake or um by other people even and that sucks as well because that caused a lot of issues with my self-esteem and regardless whether they were joking or not you know it's a joke now I take it as a joke but when I was younger, it really did affect me because, you know, kids take things to heart. And that's how I felt. I felt like I didn't belong. I felt like the black sheep of my family. And that was really hard for me to overcome. And I really didn't overcome it until my senior year of high school. when I Or I think I was junior or senior year of high school. Where I had to write a paper about it for my for college application. So probably my senior year. Um, and, you know, I struggled with being mixed because I didn't know where I fit in in school and my family I didn't know which side I related to more I didn't know which side I felt like I can embrace because obviously my skin color is very pale so hearing you can't be black or something like that really sucks and I'm a very open person so I accept a lot of people into my life um, not really anymore, but I still accept people of all backgrounds, of all races, of all ethnicities, of all heritages, whatever you want to call it. And I felt like because I did that, I got judged a lot by not only friends, but family for having the friends that I have. And I think I have a really diverse group of friends. And I just like people who are genuine and, you know, want to be friends and are genuinely good people and that's really all I worry about. Which background do I embrace the most? I say both of them music wise. Personality wise it can go either way. Um, I really don't think my personality is either one of them. I don't think my personality associates with any race even though people will tell me I act like a white girl. I don't really know what that means. Like I pronunciate, pronunciate my words and speak the way I speak. I mean I don't know. Have you ever been teased for being different? Yes, and I talked about that recently, all the time. Um, I recently, okay, this is a funny story. I recently went, this isn't really a teasing thing, but I recently went to an NAAC, oh, I thought I wasn't recording. <laughs> okay, I went to an NAACP meeting, and if you didn't know, that's like a colored people national association type of thing. Um, and I went and we were playing this game called Black Card or Vote. And this guy looks over at me and he goes, you probably don't know any of these things, right? <laughs> and I was like, kind of taken aback. And I was like, why? Why do you think that? And he was like, oh, no reason, no reason. And I was like, you don't think I'm like, you think I'm white, right? And he was like, yeah, like kind of do. And I was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I was like, my mom's black and my dad's Puerto Rican. And he was like, no way. Like, that's literally not possible. <laughs> um, but I showed him a picture of my family and explained it to him. And he was like, yo, that's so crazy. And blah, 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 blah. And um, I just thought that was a funny story because it shows like, I get mistaken for it and that's something that's gonna always happen and I realize that but I'm comfortable with who I am. I'm comfortable being a pale person. In the summer I do get really tan and it's amazing. I love being tan but you know I have to embrace both sides so might as well make the best out of it and take things lightly. But I definitely have been teased for being different so. Have you ever been, have you ever been ashamed of being multiracial? 
Hmm. I don't think I've ever been ashamed necessarily of being multiracial. I think I've more been a little confused with who I was and having to explain that to people. Um, but I don't think I've been ashamed of being multiracial. I'm very proud of where I come from. I love who I am and I don't think I've ever been ashamed of it. I think I've again been confused by it a little bit and been maybe confused isn't even the right word. I'm trying to like think of the right word for it. I think I've taken it for granted before. Um, maybe like wishing that maybe like maybe I wish I was white so that people would stop asking me questions and stop telling me that I'm adopted or found or you know that type of thing but I've never been ashamed of who I am if that makes sense um the next question is do you think that being mixed has its benefits yes I think so because I feel like I can fit in with a lot of groups um I think that being mixed gives you a different outlook because you have two or three or whatever many different different types of backgrounds. Um, I think it helps you understand other people from other ethnicities or races or hair, national, whatever, um, backgrounds a little bit more openly and easily than if you were just one race and have only experienced that one race um, for yourself, I mean. I know that, you know, when I go to Connecticut to visit my dad's Puerto Rican side, I'm eating baklava, baklava, um, empanadas, and what are, arroz con andules, or, um, you know, that type of thing. And I know when I'm visiting my mom's family in Georgia, slash Florida, because they're right on the border, um, I'm going to be eating a lot of steak, a lot of greens, a lot of cornbread, a lot of mac and cheese, and I love, 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 love southern comfort food. That is my jam, you guys. And I also love Spanish food. So, um, I think that has the benefits eating good food, you know? <laughs> um, and getting to experience different cultures. I got to have a quinceanera for my 15th birthday. Um, I didn't have a sweet 16 because it's not a part of my culture, but I had a quinceanera and had so much fun. I loved it. I loved wearing a big poofy dress and uh, getting to run out of big hotels, literally like a, a wedding. And it was amazing and I had really a, a good time. So yeah, I think it has its benefits. What makes being multiracial a beautiful thing? I think it's so beautiful seeing two different races come together and make this um and I look at my siblings and how different we all are and I think you know being biracial has a big play into that you know we all have different hair different skin color different eye color I love how different and unique each one of us are and we're all, we all have different personalities and um I just love seeing two different types of cultures come together and learn how to blend and be one and I see how my mom treats my dad and my dad treats my mom and they love each other so much and I think that's so beautiful to see two races come together and two families come together as one and I date a white guy so if we have kids one day or whoever I end up having kids with whatever race they are they're going to be mixed anyway because I'm mixed telemarketers man um, but yeah, I think that really does make multiracial people, or whatever, a beautiful thing. And I also, and to add on to that, um, my, like I said, my boyfriend is white. And I have heard many times from different family members, what are you doing with a white guy? Why are you with a white guy? You need to date within your race. And I think that's a load of crap because I don't date my boyfriend for his skin color. I date him because I think he's a genuine, smart, loving, caring, ambitious person. And that's what I'm looking for and that's who he is to me. So why would I say no to someone who treats me amazingly just because they're not within my race?
I mean, to each his own opinion, but I'm not going to date someone because of their race. And I'm not going to not date someone because of their race. I look for the person inside. I look at their heart. I look at the type of person they are. I look at their values and their morals and their goals. And that's what makes a person valuable to me and gives them, I can't, I'm really bad with words sometimes, <laughs> but that's what makes them special to me. And I think that being multiracial is also a very special thing. And I think it's a beautiful thing um, to see that come together. Okay, the last question is, any advice to someone who struggles with their um, multiracial identity? Like Naja said, you're going to be multiracial your whole life. You can't change that. You can't change how you look. I mean, I guess you can get surgery and stuff, honey, but it's not worth it in the end. Embrace who you are. Learn to love who you are. Learn to be comfortable with who you are. And don't let anyone make you feel bad about who you are. Because at the end of the day, you have to live with you. You know what I mean? I love being multiracial. I've struggled with it um, when I was young. I still struggle with it sometimes today because people put that pressure on me too. Um, but one thing that I can honestly say is that my parents have never made me feel bad about being who I am. And that is something that has helped me the whole way through. I know that I was made out of love. I know that I am a symbolization of my parents' love for one another. And that's something that's helped me cope with it. So find something, if you do struggle with it, that helps you understand that I am who I am and I love who I am. And that's my advice for you. <laughs> I feel like this was a very serious video. I didn't mean for it to be. Um, but yeah, that is the multi rich or the mul <laughs> the mixed girl tag. I love being a mixed girl. You guys should love being a mixed if you're mixed. And if you're not, then that's fine. Love who you are, child. Love who you are. And you'll be all right. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see this makeup video. Um, that will be up in the next few days. I've tried following a blank tutorial. Um, so you guys have to stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and turn off your post. Turn on. I think I said off. Turn on your post notifications to be notified every time I upload a video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.